Following some relationship challenges, your character decides to take a retreat to find some solace in the wilderness working at a firewatch station. Upon your arrival, you are pleased to find that the promise of the Beatnik's writing was true. You are able to find tranquility to reflect upon your current life challenges and how best to choose a path forward with them. That is until... Aside from that brief moment of levity, Firewatch is actually a fairly somber game. This is a flat PC game ported to VR via a mod that's available with a link in the description below that functions as a choose your own adventure game. The part of the story I showed you occurs very early on, and I'll try to avoid any other spoilers throughout this review of what is largely a game of exploration and mystery. Although I have only played up through the start of day three, I have a pretty good feeling that this game is not heavily focused on plot. Make no mistake, there is one, and it is an interesting plot, Hello, but the majority tower. of your time in this game will be spent walking. So for those Hideo Kojima fans who are actually appreciative of the fact that his newest game, Death Stranding, has been called a walking simulator, this is for you. If you enjoy a lot of your game time spent exploring and feeling deeply immersed in virtual reality, this is a great option for you, especially, right and perhaps okay. yeah, more so, for those of you with a cat VR. The act of actually walking through a large wilderness environment and spending a lot of time going from quest area to quest area is quite rewarding to me with this cat VR device. However, I do expect for most VR users who do well, not own said legal, device, right? uh, this no. could prove a little boring. For me, the is action of actually right walking, or at least the impression of actually walking up and down paths and choosing where I'm going to go with my feet is pretty rewarding. Doing this only with a joystick for an hour or two, I would imagine could get quite mind-numbing. Lacking most other means of immersion, such as haptic gear or any kind of force feedback device, this might not hold a lot of appeal to many. As of the time I'm recording this, Firewatch is on a Steam sale from $17.99 down to $4.99, and with the suggested $2 donation for the mod, I think it's worthwhile, at least on a cat. Without a catwalk treadmill, I'm not so certain. Walking through the world works quite well. There's only a few areas where you can't go off path or you reach some obstacles that are off the map, but it really does feel like you're walking through the world. Some of the limitations of this mod are in the controls when interacting with the environment. When you reach one of these choose your own moments in the game, you have to use your thumbstick to select down to a proper response and then let go with your trigger finger. And it's a little tricky to do. In fact, when I first started the game, I spent probably 15 minutes trying to find uh, a way to get the action to activate. Although part of that was my fault for not triggering an in-game event. Nonetheless, some of the aspects 
of the dialogue selection can be rather frustrating to figure out, at least in my experience. Other aspects that would really add a lot to this game would be if some of the environmental aspects were not automated, such as climbing a rock face, but it is a flat to VR mod for $2, and short of someone rewriting or recreating an actual physics aspect of the game, I don't see any way for that to be possible, so just keep that in mind with realistic expectations that this is not the Climb VR game. Along that same note of having realistic expectations, again, keep in mind this is an older game, so although the graphics are interesting and you can feel a bit like you're transported to a wilderness environment, the textures are pretty simple and sometimes the colors as well. Actually, quite a lot. I know that for many, the prospect of modifying a game, much less a VR one, can be very daunting and intimidating. Fortunately, this is one of the easiest ones to do. All you have to do is download the file, and in most cases, be sure to read the description fully, it'll actually find your game file for you. All you have to do is find the main install file, which is about as easy as it gets. There is lots of additional information listed on the modder's website. As well, he has included a YouTube video, which I will also link to. The only thing is there is a request for a $2 donation or more if you are so feeling generous. I did enjoy the experience of walking through this environment, discovering new settings, and burning a lot of calories while doing so. In some of the overlays I've used, you can see in the bottom left corner, it'll display my heart rate, and in others, it'll display the calories burned. And in the top right, you can see there's a fitness gauge that matches the aerobic level I've hit via my fitness tracker. I would appreciate any viewers' feedback on what types of relays they would like me to demonstrate within the limitations I have provided by the Pulsoid software. Since I don't want to get into spoiling the game any further, and I haven't completed it yet, I really don't want to show more of the game footage than I already have or get into any more details than I've already presented. So I hope you found this review interesting, and please like if you would appreciate seeing more content such as this from me in the future, or comment in the bottom what else you might like to see from this channel. Thank you so much for your time, and happy gaming.